Right, just going to do a walkthrough talk through of applying body filler. So on the parts we can see, um, even though we're filling it, you still need to get rid of all the paint in there so the filler's got a decent um, base to stick to. Um, if there's any rust spots, just get it bare metal because you don't, you don't need to worry about it, it's going to be flat. So the main one's gone down. Um, we've got a couple of strips, these bits around there. I did find another um, little spot down there. And there was a bit of previous filler there, a little mix. I've just taken that back off so I know the filler's on right. So I'll show you how to mix some filler up or how would I do it and I'll apply it. Right, here we go to the filler. Um, <clears throat> in the previous ones, I'm using U Pole Fantastic. So just want a big dollop of that. Lid back on there and then hardener. Don't want too much in there. Nice sort of. I probably put in always too much than I should do really, but hey ho. Each to their own. So that's what mix you're going for. A big bit of filler, a bit of hardener. Mixing wise, I'm just using an old registration plate because it's nice and smooth and I don't care if I knock it. So just want to give it a good old mix round until you can see all the hardener. It's quite warm in the garage today, so this filler's quite a bit more watery than normal. So you just want to give it a good old mix round until you can't see any hardener, so the pink and redness is gone. That sort of colour, nice and mixed round. And then going to plant in the car. The filler is now applied to the door. Again, like I said in previous videos, don't worry if it's too sort of high. We you think, oh, it's too much on there. Uh, most of it's going to come off anyway. But what you're trying to get is a sort of smoothest finish as you can. Um, these little bits there, um, you're trying to, you don't want that much on there because when you sand that down, that obviously can leave tiny little pit holes. Um, <clears throat> so that'll take about 15, 20 minutes to harden, but I'll come back tomorrow and get all that sanded down. I'll use the DA first just to get the volume off it. Um, quick bit of flat sand on the block sander on there. Then I'll, once I'm happy, they feel flat hat with my hand. I'll go ahead, stick a guy coat over it, block sand it, and then see what we have from there. Right. right I've just gone over the door with a DA on that prime uh, fellow I put on yesterday. The only intention of doing that is literally just to get it all the, um, excess down, not all the excess, but hit nice flat and flush, um, all the edges sort of feathered in, so it's not sticking out. Um, now I can just go over the block sander to get them level, then I'll go ahead with the guide coat and see where we go from there. That's all the <coughs> filler block sanded down and a guide coat on. Um, <coughs> I did find two of the small little dings. I didn't notice before, so I've just gone ahead and put a bit of filler on there as well. So I'll let this dry off a moment, block sand that, and then see what's high and low. I have sprayed the top of the door with a coat of primer anyway, because I'm not going to worry about block sand of that, because you're not going to notice anything. There's no obvious um, big marks anyway. And that's the door all uh, prepped, ready to put the coat of primer on. I've block sanded it once. It's gone down again as well. I put two of the bits of filler, just another section, you'll see from the last picture there, and just to top that bit up. Um, the bottom part of the doors came up quite um, quite well, there wasn't any nicks in there, other than what we already know. So I'm going to go ahead and stick some primer on that, and then once that's dry, move on to getting the bonnet off, then sand the herb, <clears throat> get all the air out the engine bay, because as you can see, it's all a bit dusty now, which was lovely and shiny, so I'll blow all that dust off, get all that mast up, and I'll probably do um scuttle panel first, because it's quite a small job, get that done another way, and then this is the last big panel to do, the bonnet, which isn't too bad, it's just uh, going to be quite awkward getting all the bits of rust and dirt off there, 
clean all that up. I'll probably do the underside first. And then when I put that back on the floor, bonnet on the floor, I'm gonna concentrate on the top. So, and then that'll be the last big panel. And then I can move on to prepping all the lower areas. If you notice, I haven't really done the sort of lower parts of the balances and the trims on the side skirts, because they're gonna be stone chipped. So they'll have a separate bit of prep um, just to make sure they're all as good as they can be. And then I'll be using stone chip on those on the front, same on the back. And once all the stone chips done, it's uh, time to make a spray booth. That's the primer on the door. I did try and film spraying it, but uh, it's quite awkward. Um, that is the spray paint I'm using. Just a U-Pulp um, etch primer. Um, <coughs> it's quite good stuff. It does last quite a while um, for the value of the can. I think it's like 25 quid for four cans. Um, and they have got... The um, <clears throat> different kind of nozzle on them, if it will zoom in. So the yellow bit in there, instead of your normal spray can, it does actually give a more of a, a like say, a professional um, pattern when you spray it, instead of a, a circular mist. Um, it gives you a nice straight line where you would get from a professional spray gun. So, pretty good stuff. <laughs> 